manifolds. So one of the other areas that also uses steel, but is slightly different, is where you have applications like this, where they have replaced composition material with a steel material. So this isn't necessarily multi-layer, it's a single layer as a matter of fact. And the process of the mechanical bead, however, is pretty much the same. So they've reduced the size of the bolts, they have limited the amount of bolt load that can be applied. So as a result of that, the steel with the mechanical bead helps them get more reliability. They are constantly hunting at the original equipment level to garner that 100,000 miles because those are the expectations of the customer. So to do that and not have fiber material fail because of corrosive uh, coolant or over overheats or a variety of reasons, the choice has been made to use steel in those applications. And it works exceptionally well the same as it does in cylinder heads or exhaust manifolds because it provides that spring and offers recovery as the engine heats and as it cools. But in this case, this particular case, the reason I find it a bit interesting is someone, has, for whatever reason, has bent the part first. So it isn't that that makes them bad, it's just you as the technician that's about to install this, you need to make sure that it is not pre-bent before you get it. So take a few moments to make sure that the part is good that you're about to install. And you're gonna say, well, why did they do that composition work fine? Well, that wasn't true. So even back when there was composition material, if it was folded for any reason, it too would suffer the same consequence because in many cases that material had a bit of rubber in it anyway, so it would recover or resist. So if that was bent, it would now cause a similar problem. So it isn't that the steel is susceptible, it's just I want to make you aware of you need to be sure that what you're doing and the parts that you are installing and that those details are in your mind all the time. So a lot of these newer applications are similar to how they were before. Again, there's less load, in many cases, you know, simply less fasteners. So you need to be sure that the part provided is what it's supposed to be. First, make sure it fits. And then make sure that you don't see any deficiencies. We certainly check them here to make sure we would not put a bent part in there. But that's not to say in shipping or maybe inside your own shop, it's fallen on the floor, got bent. So don't install a mistake. We do our best to ensure that every part in every box is usable and meets all the standards that we can measure. But sometimes things just happen. So take that time and understand that it's really more important for you to do a bit of inspection to make sure somewhere along the line after it's left our hands that the part hasn't been damaged in some way. I think it will help and maybe eliminate some of those leaking problems that you may have had in the past. Uh, my name is Tim Galeno. Thank you for listening. And again, thank you for your business.